Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawak. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which you partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the place of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, He gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you earn for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear, alleluia. Has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world to the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we beseech you, that through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first sorrowful mysteries, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging of the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us all trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us all trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. <clears throat> blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banis, children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy toward us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may meditate what they contain and obtain what they promise, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love we strive to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works and the consecration of our lives to the holy preaching. In speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all. In the gospel we share to all peoples, by your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the Thursday of the sixth week of Easter. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall be to your praise. 
The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The, the Lord, Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock his shepherd. The Lord, the Lord is, risen. is risen. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Forty years I endured their generation, I said. They are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The, the Lord, Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the Lord is, is risen. risen. Alleluia. You have come to Mount Zion and to the city of the living God. Alleluia. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against the godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let this be my God. Let them bring me to your holy mountain. To the place where you dwell and i will come to the altar of god the god of my joy my redeemer i will thank you on the harp O god my god why are you cast down my soul why groan within me hope in god i will praise him still my savior and my god glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen Lord, you have preserved my life from destruction. Alleluia. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld I shall consign for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. We have folded up my life like a weaver who savors the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life. From the pit of destruction, and you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the nether world that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do, do those who go down in, into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to strength in sermon in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have visited the earth and brought life-giving rain to fill it with plenty. Alleluia. To you our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you chose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. 
You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows. You level it, sultan it with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy. The meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with, with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas. The magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook, all the doors flew open, and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for the light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal, and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You beat up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Please stand. I will send to you the Spirit of truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I'm going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you, and when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin, because they do not believe in me. Righteousness, because I'm going to the Father, and you will no longer see me. Condemnation, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Inihahanda na ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ang kanyang mga alagad sa kanyang napipintong paglisan at pag-akyat sa langit. Malulungkot ang mga alagad sa pagtanggap ng balitang ito. Siguro katulad din tayo ng mga alagad na pipiliin nating manatili ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo dito sa lupa pagkatapos ng kanyang muling pagkabuhay na siya tumira na lamang sa Jerusalem kung sa atin, baka sa Roma. Lagi nating kapiling, diretso nating matatawagan, matetext natin. At kung makapapalat pa tayo makapunta ron, magkakaroon pa tayo ng mga selfie. O kung tayo may mga suliranin, diretso takbo natin. Kung tayo naguguto, may ano ba naman yung milagrong ulitin niya, yung pinakain niya, yung maraming tao, pinadami niya ang tinapay. Pag may nauuhaw, o ano ba naman yun, ano, pabulwaki niya ang tubig. Nang sa ganun ay may mainom at hindi tayo nagkakaroon ng kakulungan sa tubig. At kung meron tayong mga piyesta, aba, yung tubig na yun, pwede pang gawing alak. Meron tayong good time. Kung tayo meron mga sakit o isang haplos lang ng Panginoon, magaling na tayo. At baka, kung merong namatay, baka biyayaan pa tayo katulad ni Lazaro, mabuhay muli at pahabain ang buhay. O ba? Diba? Kung tutusin eh, gusto natin yung ganun na mangyari. Na hindi na umalis ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo dito sa edaigdig at kapiling na lang natin. Takbuhan natin. Ang hirap nito, eh baka ang mangyari, hindi na tayo mag-asikaso sa ating mga sarili, magpabaya na lang at hindi magmalasakit sa isa't isa at iyasa na latin sa ating Panginoon. Alam nyo, ang mga bata, kaya hindi lumalaki Masyadong umaasa sa magulang at yung mga magulang naman hindi tumuruan yung bata na mabuhay na sila'y mawawala. Alam nyo kung tutuusin yung mga bata gusto yung kanila magulang e eh, ini-spoil sila. <coughs> Yun ang gusto mga konsitidor na mga magulang. Ayaw nila yung mga magulang na dinidisiplina sila. Hindi nila naiintindihan yun, lalo na't bata pa at walang matinupang pag-iisip. Kala nila yung kanilang mga magulang ay mahihigpit. Na nagsasaya kapag ka sila'y nagdurusa at nagpapakasakit. O yung mga magulang dito, baka naranasan na yan. Dinidisiplina nyo yung mga, magula, yung, yung mga anak ay pagkatapos katakot-takot at dabog pag kayo nakatalikot kung ano-ano sinasabi sa inyo. Bakit? Eh, hinihigpitan ninyo. Eh, nang sa ganun, eh, maihanda nyo sapagkat ang buhay ay mahirap. Hindi ang buhay ay laging sagana. Ang buhay ay hindi laging sarap. 
kung hinahanda niyo yung mga anak niyo na sa ganun, eh sila hindi mahirati sa ginhawa at kahit wala kayo, eh makakaharap sa mga pagsubok ng buhay. Eh mga magulang, konsentidor. Lalo na kung may pera at makapangyarihan, gagawa ng kulukuhan yung bata, ay, aayusin. Kung bumagsak sa eskwelahan, padudulasan yung teacher. Ibigyan ng malaki regalo at ipasan nyo na lang po. Sa halip na turuan at maghirap sa pagsisikap na mag-aaral. Gumawa ng krimen, why yun? Tatawagan yung mga padrino. Mga may kaugnayan silang mga politiko. Malakas sila para lang sa ganun. Hindi maparusahan yung anak nila at makalaya. At gumawa uli ng krimen sapagkat ako, oh, Nandiyan naman ang daddy ko. Nandiyan naman ang mami ko. Eh hindi lang kasi dinisiplina. Nakala nila yung pagmamahal, eh yun bang konsintihin, palakihin sa layaw, ibigay lahat ang gusto. O minsan, ganun din ang ating pakiwari sa pagkaama ng Diyos. Ibigay mo sa amin lahat ang gusto mo. Kaya mo naman eh. Kaya baka ganun ang mangyari kung nandito ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. Gagawa tayo ng problema, siya at taga-solusyon. Kaya walang gagawin si Kristo dito sa mundo, kundi mag-solusyon, solusyon ng mga problema ang ginagawa natin. Sapagkat umaasa tayo, ay ah, naman si Jesus. Makapangyarihan niya. Siya magsosolve ng lahat ng ating problema. Para bang hindi na tayo binigyan niya ng mga pamamaraan at mga kakayahan upang kung may pagsumok dito sa buhay na ito ay masalusyonan tayo. Binigyan tayo ng utak. Hindi mag-isip. Itong mundo ito ay binigay niya. Nanguripot ba Diyos sa pagbibigay ng mundo ito? Wala bang kakayahang mundo itong pakainin tayo at damitan tayo at sustentuhan tayo ng mga kailangan natin? Daig pa sa kasya ito eh, sa ating mga pangangailangan. Ang hirap nito, hindi lang natin kinukuha yung ating pangangailangan. Sobra-sobra pa sa ating pangangailangan. At kapag ka merong ganid sa ating hanay, ha? kahit na ganong kadami, pag merong halangang bituka na sumasama dyan sa ating handaan, kung kayo nagkaroon ng handaan, kahit na anong dami ang paghahandaan nyo, magkaroon lang kayo ng sampung gate crusher na may dalang bayong Nasa halip na kumain lang na isang plato, eh pati plato, dala-dala, kita nyo kung hindi mauubos at hindi lang mauubos, kukulangin pa kayo sa hinanda nyo. Eh kung magkaroon ng ganon, kung ganit yung mga ibang tao, eh anong milagro gagawin ng Diyos? Eh, milagro ng milagro ng pagpapadami, nagkukulang pa rin. Bakit? Eh may mga taong ganit. Tayo gumagawa ng problema. Tapos pasosolve natin sa Panginoon. At nagkakaroon ng mga baha. At nagkakaroon ng madislide. At nagkakaroon ng pandemya. Kinalikot natin ng kalikasan. At nagpabaya sa pangangalaga ng ating mga katawan pagkatapos magtatanong tayo, Ma, bakit nakaganito? Minsan pa nga eh, magtatanong pa sa akin eh, hindi na ba tayo mahal ng Diyos? Bakit tayo pinabayaan? Bakit tayo binigyan ng ganitong sakit? Bakit ako sino pa nagbigay ng sakit na yan? Ang Diyos ba tagapagbigay ng sakit? Mag 
Papabaya tayo sa katawan natin. Hindi tayo maguhugas ng kamay. Hindi tayo pupulyot natin yung ating hangin. Dudumihan natin yung ating kapaligiran. Pakatapos, pag may umusbong na kung ano-ano mga mikrobyo, virus, at saka bakterya, titingin tayo sa Diyos. Diyos ko, bakit mo binigay ang lahat ng ito? Tapos sabihin natin, solve mo, solusyonan mo. So, solusyonan ngayon ng Panginoon yan. Para ba tayo walang kakayahang magsolusyon ng ating mga sariling problema? Kaya may isa, napapailing na lang ako pag sinisisi nila ang Panginoong Diyos sa lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay nila. Sino gumawa ng problema? Kaya ano sabi ng Panginoon, mawawala ako sa paningin ninyo. Akit ako sa langit. Pero hindi ko kayo iiwanan. Wala sa tingin pero nasa piling pa rin ninyo. Ano? Isusugo ko ang aking espiritu. O yun. Punta sa langit ng Panginoon, bababa ang espiritu at magiging buhay ninyo. Siya ang magiging hininga nyo kung papapasukin nyo sa puso nyo. Sapagkat ang Espiritu ni Kristo ay Espiritu ng pag-ibig, buhay ng pag-ibig. At alam nyo, ang pag-ibig nasa sa puso. Kaya kapag ka ang puso nasa tamang lugar, lahat ay nasa tamang lugar. Kapag ka ang puso wala sa tamang lugar, lahat wala sa tamang lugar. Kapag ka ang puso, nasa tamang lugar at may pag-ibig, hindi yan magiging sakit. Hindi magiging ganid. Bakit? Sapagkat ang pag-ibig hindi makasarili, mapagbigay. Kaya ang kukunin lang niya yung kailangan niya. At yung mga nangangailangan, bibigyan niya. Kaya mabubuhay ang mundo na matiwasay at may katarungan. Walang swapangan. Apagka ang tao'y umiibig, hindi mo sinuswapangan yung minamahal mo. Apagka ikaw'y umiibig, makatotohanan, hindi lukuhan, hindi mo pinagsisinungalingan, sa totoo lang, walang peke. Sa totoo lang, kaya nga natatawa ako doon sa mga teleserye kapag ka yung mga naliligaw eh hindi sinabi sa nililigawan na may asawa na siya pagkatapos eh nakuha na yung gustong kunin. Pagkatapos magtalik, sasabihin doon sa kanyang nililigawan na dalaga. Tsaka sasabihin may asawa na siya. Eh kaya ako lang naman nagawa sa iyo yan eh. Mahal na mahal kita. Umay, ano ba pagmamahal na ng lolo ko? May eh, pagmamahal bang nagdendenggoy? Yung pag-ibig, hindi na ng lolo ko. Tapat yan. Kaya nga tawag eh, tapat eh. Pag-ibig, tapat. Ayun. Kapag ka ang puso ng tao may pag-ibig, may Espiritu Santo, tapat yun. O kaya sabi ng ating Panginoon, pupunta ako sa itaas, bababa naman ng Espiritu Santo. Hukob-kubi ng puso nyo at ilalagay sa tamang lugar. Kung bubuksan nyo ang puso nyo, Ayun ang napakahirap natin gawin. Mas gusto natin yung ama na konsintidor. Eh, hirap pa yan eh. Didisiplinahin namin ang sarili namin. Biro mo yun, ilalagay namin yung puso namin sa tamang lugar. Eh, yung gusto namin, gusto namin, yun ang gusto namin. Oh. Gamitin mo na lang yung kapangyarihan mo. Ano mangyayari no? Tayo mga tao, tagagawa ng problema, ang Diyos tagatagawa ng solusyon. Tama ba yun? Kaya kung gusto nating tumino ang takbo nitong mundong ito, takbo ng bayan natin, takbo ng pamilya natin, 
magmahalan tayo. Mabuhay tayo sa pag-ibig at Espiritu ni Kristo. At kasama sa pagmamahalang yan, pagmamalasakit. Alagaan ang sarili sa halip na maging problema ng ibang tao. Tulungan ng ibang tao na mahango sa problema nila. Kapag ka nagkaganon, pakikita natin si Kristo kahit nasa langit, nasa mundo pa rin. Sapagkat kahit wala sa tingin, nasa piling pa rin sapagkat ang Espiritu ng pag-ibig ay nasa puso ng bawat isa sa atin. Let us all stand to offer our prayers to the good Lord. For every intention, we're going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives to the preaching of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may give our best <coughs> to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, hear our prayer. prayer. For our Pope, College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers in ministry, as St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Peñafort, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawak, and for our personal intentions, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, open our hearts so that we may be welcoming to the coming of your Holy Spirit to put our hearts in the right places so that in our love we may become responsible for one another, not becoming the problem itself, but becoming the solution to the problem. And thus we might be able, with your grace, to be able to live happily, not only in this world, but most especially in the world hereafter, in your presence. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given. Human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the divine works of human hands, this will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. 
please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in this Paschal mystery so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe a universe cast down is renewed and the integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every people exult in your praise and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. 
Together with Francisco, our Pope Socrates, our Bishop Pivelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and Saint Francis, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please Let stand. us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please all stand. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, for I live and you will live. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me, for I live and you will live. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in Lingayen Dagupan. Let us answer together, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary while with our seminar seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the good shepherds. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to be shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were with the apostles in prayer on Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your son entrusted to you, the beloved disciple, at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are locked on to answer the call to be priests. Mary, may Mary help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the church as priests of your son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your son who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Kami po itong pusong nagpapasalamat sa inyong nagsidalo at nakiisa sa amin sa pagdiriwang ng misang ito. Naway pagpatuloy niyo ang pagdarasal sa amin ng mga naglilingkod sa inyo sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag at makakaasa kayong kami rin ay magpapatuloy sa pagdadasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga pamilya. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join us as we bless the sick and the aging and then followed by our blessing for the rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made the heaven and earth. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness. Restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you.